people will say that there's a lot of people probably getting credit for what happened last night in T-Mobile Arena. Yeah, mm. I agree. Las Vegas Golden Knights stopped a historic streak from happening mm -hmm. by the Edmonton Oilers. Now, there was an all-star break in between this streak happening and then what took place last night, so maybe they slowed down. But Connor McDavid, best player on earth. Yeah. Connor McDavid just beat the entire NHL all-star crew for a million bucks and everything else. He won the weekend. He's the guy. He was leading the hottest team in the NHL into Las Vegas to take on the Stanley Cup champion, Vegas Golden Knights. If they were able to get the win, they would have seven. 17 straight dubs, tying a record that the Pittsburgh Penguins put in the 1990s for longest winning streak in the history of the NHL. Damn. Last night was history in the making. We moved our plane to be earlier. Yeah. Right. So that we could get here on time. I had to be there. Because a guy that's on our show every single day was potentially the first ever fan of the Las Vegas Golden Knights. Yeah. I believe he was. As soon as the Vegas Golden Knights were announced as a team, he said, well, that's my team. Uh -huh. Literally wow. from that moment. Got a chance to win a Stanley Cup, and it was the first time he was ever in the barn last night. And we can say it's official, I believe. He is now an actual member of the Vegas Golden Knights. That's right. Ladies and gentlemen, fresh off of derailing the Edmonton Oilers, our guy, Toxic Table member, and now Vegas Golden Knight hockey player, Ty Schmidt. You earned it, pal. Hey, Ty. Yeah. Hey, here we go, boys. Good work, Ty. Here we go, boys. Hey. Good work, Ty. Here we go, boys. Here we go, boys. Yeah. Here we go, boys. Give me one. Give me one. Give me one. Yeah. Give me one. Guys, buttes. All of you. Yep. Oh, sorry, Paul. Tell you what, puppies are barking a little bit already, so it's gonna be. This all show? All day? No, I put it on for the. I mean, what do you? Morning skate this morning. I came right over here afterwards. Okay, so. So we were. The two shot there. Just. I'm just in the slot all day. Wait, one timer, baby. Ready? Yeah. Hell yeah. Would like an ice cold bottle. <laughs> How does it feel? Hot? Is it hot or no? Uh, it's a little warm. Yeah, sure. You know, <laughs> these uh. Your bike friends nowhere near your mouth. Fix well, <laughs> that for him. You know, I, what I also realized, you know, we've been talking about uh, the Mucinex needing to use it. Uh, we do have cough buttons. There's absolutely no way I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to apologize to you guys, the viewers at home, if I just cough directly into the microphone. There's a good chance it's going to happen several times today. But um, Ty, you had a hell of a performance last night. You sounded a siren. Yeah, Obviously, right. you started the party wow. for the Vegas Golden Knights Ooh. last night. You were you were in the castle. You were on the ice at one point. Yeah. I mean, you were dapping up the boys. There were some people wondering, you know, from the be this is the beginning of the game, obviously, where we told them that I would do it. And uh, why, why and do you cross-eyed during this? Well, you, <laughs> you know, so you kind of just black out. You're just orgasmic. Every right. ounce of energy and passion that you can, and, and that's what happens. And I will say, Ty planned all this. He, he said, if uh, if I'm going to get an opportunity to wail on that siren, I'm going to try to break that thing. And they actually said, first time in the existence of the team where they all, it broke. Yeah. They he moved lifted the it and moved it. <laughs> they said, that was the most aggressive we've ever had. Here we go. And that was the plan. And You're then the <laughs> in, the <laughs> second, in the second intermission, Ty Schmidt was riding a Zamboni. And after a 16th birthday was announced yep. on the other Zamboni. Uh, that was awesome. That was awesome. <laughs> Back back to show. Ty Schmidt is riding on the Zamboni. And you would think, like, okay, he started the game. He kept the ice fresh for the boys. But that's got to be all a super fan night is, right? That's got to be all it is? Yeah, that's it. No, nope, no. Nope. After oh. the boys secured this historic win that he basically initiated with the siren wailing, mm -hmm. he, uh, well, yeah, then he got the sword in, uh, uh, in the shield, yep. and that went... <laughs> About as bad as it possibly could. I, I did exactly what the Golden Knight told me to do. No, you no, I'll you be did not. Uh, it's, it's on record. You did not. Yeah. Uh, no, I did. I did. I mean, that's my story. I'll go down swinging that. I mean, really, I was just looking to slice someone's head off. I was so jacked up at that it's point. It's close. I wasn't worried about banging this the is shield. The... the best part about it is when the boys get to win and secure the dub. Now, it was after he banged on that shield, yep. 15 seconds later, they get the go ahead Literally. goal. 15 days. Whose fault is it, Ty? Is it me? I don't know, baby. He says. Ty, how many whiskeys probably at that point? Oh, I couldn't tell you, but um, north of 20, 25. Yeah, the night comes back and even gives credit. Yeah, 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 it is my fault. I did do that. This is the you, me, you, you, me. me. <laughs> 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 All right, anyways, thank what you to the nice. Golden Knights. Oh, man. It was a golden night. Oh, yeah. Love you, golden Way to tone. It was a golden night for the Super Bowl kickoff. Ty got to give fist bumps to the boys as they were going to the locker room. Oh. 
And then we got a chance to go in the locker room afterwards and talk to the boys. And allegedly, that yeah, here's look at this. There it is. Talk's supposed to be filming Ty. Obviously, he is not. Talk's getting his own stuff there on the far right. <laughs> oh, look where I'm at. This is awesome. Nikki skates and Coach Phil are in the back there, obviously enjoying the hell out of a nice hockey night in Vegas. Stoner. Stoner. <laughs> Stoner had a great night. He Almost did. had an empty netter. Wow, Bill Carlson put the third away with an empty netter. It was a, uh, it was a hell of a night over there, Ty. And even the boys in the locker room when we talked to him said you were the reason why. The Knights got that big win. They said it was a playoff-like atmosphere. Do you think it's a playoff-like atmosphere if that guy's not on that siren? No. Do you think it's a playoff-like atmosphere if he's not riding the side saddle on that Zamboni with a seatbelt on? I mean, I, I heard there was a – there's like a – a TV in the locker room where the boys were watching Ty ride the Zamboni, his little legs dangling, and that just gave them, like, the fire, the fuel they need, I think, to put it over the top. I don't think everybody in T-Mobile Arena knew exactly what was going on, What do you think? What do you mean? Well, they, I heard some think? rumblings. I went to the bathroom. I heard some rumblings, what and I heard a dad tell a kid, like, oh, that cancer guy Oh, he's is, terminal. Oh, oh yeah, no. He's on the Zamboni. Oh, they, People were thinking this was a make-a-wish like Ty was there on, on, his, last, on his last days. What? And, uh, what? How the Oilers are supposed to play against that? Yeah, Bingo. Well, exactly. No chance. So if that was the, I mean, that was the idea, and we're, I tried to tell him, but I didn't want to ruin it. Like, nah, he, he's just drunk. I mean, yeah. It, yeah, he's <laughs> not. Is, he's, just, he's just a big fan. He's just getting an opportunity. Vegas Golden Knights took care of us. First yeah. class program. They did. It was incredible. Uh I mean, yeah, would I have loved to not go down uh, and miss about an hour and 30 minutes of the game, wait for the Zamboni and doing all that? Kind of, sure, sure. But they said, hey, no one ever gets to ride the Zamboni. Turns out a, a girl had her 16th birthday. She got to ride the Zamboni as well. So that wasn't exactly true. But, yeah, just, I mean, first-class organization, obviously. Uh, you know, getting in the, in the change room with the boys afterwards, it was, it was an all-time night. Is it, why are you number 66 before Tone gets his thing? And this was a question asked by the boys in the change room afterwards. Uh, oh. Stoner actually looks at Ty wearing his jersey, and he goes, uh, why 66? And at that point, Ty, you know, he'd laid it all on the line for the Vegas Golden Knights oh, yeah. that entire day, starting yep. on a plane ride. And he was a little bit of a zombie. And he looks at me, he goes... What are we talking about here, boys? Gordon Bombay, number 66. So Stoner <laughs> was about to do a full Mario Lemieux talk. Yeah. Of course. And Garrett, Gordon Bombay... Big pop from the boys. Good. Would like to say to the Golden Knights uh, operations and to the players, mm -hmm. hey, go Knights, go. Go, go Knights, go. Go Knights, go. Now that's the rhythm. Yeah, no, I know. I know. I mean, ding, ding. how were you doing it? I don't remember. <laughs> he, was doing, he was doing uh, go, we'll go Knights, go. Yes. Bing, bing. No. Bing. <laughs> Go Knights, go! I'll be honest, no. I was basically more focused on, hey, Barry boozed up, the position you're in. Don't tumble forward Whoa. and fall and out fall. of the suite. And, With uh, a sword in yeah, and, and basically, yeah, impale yourself and, and not live to see the rest of the third period. This was, that's... That's really This is all after he, on the plane right there, dropped his phone into the fuselage. Uh, and they, they had to take oh, wow. three mechanics from three different plane companies to come take the plane apart and get him his phone back. Our well. pilot's been flying for 35 mm -hmm. years. Uh, he's got a Hulk Hogan mustache that you can't see in this particular shot because his back is to us. But he's trying to bust open a table that has a phone in it for the first time in his 35-year piloting career. So, Ty did. He tried. Ty. He certainly did. He tried. <laughs> he tried a lot of the similar things that we were trying and was certainly telling us that he was going to do it better than us, but yeah, I appreciated his effort. Hour and 45 minutes, he was kneeling in front of Ty Schmidt on that phone. Yeah, and well, and he did tell me, uh, hey, there's a 5% chance you're going to get this phone back by Friday. And I was like, okay, I mean, if you have like a ruler and some duct tape in there, I can definitely <laughs> get it out. But, but I'm, you know, hey, do what you got to do. Obviously, we land an hour later, hey, they got your phone. So, you know, I'm, I'm just, I'm very grateful that, uh, you know, that 5% chance I was going to get it by Friday ended up being, hey, 100% chance you're going to get this thing three hours later. So, hey, that's great good. news.